course, I'm not going to wait one week myself to give the answer. Let me go back here. I just saw it from the car. I said, what's this? There's just lying so many eggs. And okay, so this is the habitat, the spawning habitat, but such a amount of eggs. That's the surprising part. But this, here you see the explanation. And this is also explanation for, yeah, in general, in a, why amphibians survive in a certain landscape, why they are still there. You see here also in this part of the stream, you see there's a, well, maybe a 50, and there is maybe a 50, and probably there will be more of such spots. But you see already that this is not just a normal stream. It is a temporary lake. And you will say maybe, okay, it's a temporary lake of one hectare. Yeah, but that, that can be even, it can be when this, this thing is closed here, it can be flooding until the high trees there. So it can be a few hectares even. But so there is a, obviously in other years, there's more water here. And that's why there's a, a huge population of Rana Temporaria. And they want to put the eggs. I believe that not all will put the eggs even. But anyway, they, it's many of them, they do try to put the eggs. Uh, and that's why we have on a very, very unusual place, you can find the eggs sometimes. Yeah. And so then reflecting on what's happening in the in the landscape all over Europe is that um, yeah when you have a good place, then the amphibians also occupy the, the not so suitable places, especially when the good ones are gone. And what happens very often in nature conservation is when we are going to help the frogs, they are surviving in bad places even. Yeah, whereas the, 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 the source where they were born or their grandparents were born is already longer gone. So uh, then they can survive in what we call sink habitats, but that's not, not valid for the population. So this is a very nice illustrative example of where you can see that a common species yeah, is, is also putting his eggs in a very, very big amount in an unsuitable habitat because just because there's a huge population. And of course, if the, within time there's the conditions improve, they will be here again. And the same is for nature conservation, amphibian conservation. We can make the where they are still. We can make suitable places, better places. But we have most persons will have to change their mindset and not think in a little pond <laughs> because that's not where they used to live. Yeah. Okay. Well, hope you enjoyed this. Bye.